Hello, welcome to another adventure of Bricks in the Wild. I am Brickologist Carl coming to you from the Lego Den. Today our adventure we're going to talk about when you bring home a bulk set, all the pieces in a bin, what do you do with that? How do you separate? Um, how do you put them possibly to put the, the sets back together? Okay, let's start off with uh, a bin that I got from a bulk buy. Off the top of the set we got in here. So looking in here, they've already separated it. Uh, the the colors are you can see there is some white and some purple, some pink, yellow. These are the Lego Friends theme, not the TV show, but the Friends theme. And like right here, we have uh, some type of dragon, and here is the dragon's head. So that would be a start right there, is to look at the pieces. So I would start by taking all the purple, and you can see there's kind of a light purple there too. And that's a daunting thing about Lego, is look at the broad range of colors that you can have. So you're thinking, oh my goodness, I need so many bins. Think about it the other way, is how many pieces types of pieces that Lego actually makes. So looking at color wise, it's not that bad. But I don't know what your space would be, uh, what type of room do you have to buy Lego and, and store away. So in my room, let me put this set away here, you, you're thinking how do I store Lego once I bring them home. I would start off by the most popular color that I find in my set is usually gray, dark gray, dark bluish gray, black, and white. You can get these little bins and start sorting that way. Break down, don't look at the whole picture of how big the bin is. You're going to you're going to break that down into sections. So you start with uh, light gray. Put all the pieces in there. And I'm talking about mixing up the bricks, the plates. Just get all your gray into one area. Then go on to your white, your black, your red, your orange. Separate those all. And once you get those separated, then it's much easier to break them down even farther. How I do it is I do, as I said, I do color first. Then I break down if they are flats or if they are brick. Separate those. Then once you have those separated down, you break them down in another category. Like I have my bricks, I would break technique down in that also. Flats, you have your one by ones, one by twos, one by threes, and so on and so on and so on. So once you get that separated, you're like, okay, do I need a bin for every type of Lego piece that I have. No. Like here's a, a larger bin and what I've done is I've put all the types of tires and wheels and rims. So anything for a car or maybe for a train set. Um, I have a whole bin. I have motorcycles in here. So these are all for vehicles and also the uh, pieces that are make up the axles. So that's all from my tires. That's just one bin for tires. Once you break your bins, your your pieces down by color, and you have a, a another bin, and I'll show you over here. Let me grab. Let me go back here. Okay, so this is a neat container. I got this at uh, the Walmart store and it comes in a, a stack of threes and it's great because now I have this one I de designated as my uh, brick section. If you look in here I have slopes, I have bricks, I, that's a 2 by 4 brick, you can see that. So these are all my bricks in here and some miscellaneous pieces. 
like antennas, some angle pieces. And there's my Technic pieces. So these are all my dark bluish gray. I have another bin, the same size as this. It's my dark bluish gray with all my flats. That way when I go to look for sets, whether I'm looking for uh, starting with minifigures or I have big pieces that are like maybe an X-Wing, I've got partial X-Wing in there. So I know I've got that set, I've got the pieces in here. It's much easier to find complete sets. Let me put this back and I will continue. Okay. Uh, so if you've seen there was baggies in there. So the best thing I have is cheapest method for me, depends on what your budget is with, with Lego, is I separate the flats like one by two, one by three, one by four. And the best thing for me to do is little sandwich baggies. There's so many different size. There's like the snack ones. It's half the size. So maybe I don't have that many. And then you can get a little bit of bigger size. And if you have a lot of one type, say you have a lot of one by two flats, then you can get a big giant Ziploc baggie. They're very cheap. They're easy to separate instead of just having a big bin full of pieces. Now what I'll do also is I will have my just my single pieces in a tray like this. And there could be some Technic pieces in here. But these are usually your, your, your ones. Um, and usually the flat pieces, the little tubes. But this is where I can find little odds and ends instead of separating these all by color. This is the only thing I don't separate by color is these little miscellaneous pieces. And I will do this for every color. I have it in um, light gray, dark blue, bluish gray. I have it, in, like I said, both in flats and brick. I have it in white, red, orange, yellow, blue. And then you start breaking down some of the other colors like brown, um, tan, sand, green. I'm finding as I go through these bulk sets, most of my majority is, is the grays, the blacks, the whites. So that's how I start with that. And I showed you a couple bins. I showed you how you can store them and put them in here. You can write on what they are if it's easier. I just don't like to use black. Black, it's hard to see the pieces in there, especially if you're doing black pieces in a black bin. It's hard to distinguish what they are. I, I, li I like the clear tubs. They're much easier to use. So get different Ziploc baggies. Separate them that way. Now, like I said, this is how I do it. I'm just giving you my input on what works and I'll tell you why in a minute. There are other people that will tell you that they sort by piece. So imagine just by looking at this. Now imagine this by 20 times, 20, 30 times, that you put all your colors in the same bin, but it's all the same piece. Now you have to sort through this whole bin to find that certain color. And once again, I will show you what I'm talking about. So we've showed you when you bring bulk home, how you separate and how you can store them. So, and I'll explain, let's, let's, let's go on the computer over here and I'll show you, and it breaks it down also uh, in your manuals that you get with your sets. If you're lucky to get manuals with sets that are complete, this one I did. If you look in the back of your manuals, they break down the pieces also. And if you notice, they, they start breaking them down. Let's go back another page here. Okay. They break them down by color. And that's why I'm, I'm trying to give the information I use. It's much easier this way. They go by color first instead of just the type of piece. 
So you've got dark blue here, light blue here. You've got black, green, red, yellow. You've got some gray pieces here. White, light gray, and some tan. So what you're going to find in here is you can find it on the internet too. And I will explain that. But once again, you have... Uh, you can pull it up online. Uh, they do sell posters and stuff where you can see what your piece. That's going to be your best way because you're going to use this as a guide when you're uh, sorting out your sets. Back over here. That's why I like to have manuals. Manuals are great. But you can also find the same information on your computer. Let's go over here. And I'm going to show you two sites. Now remember last week we talked about Bricklink, which is one of my favorite sites to use. And this one, where's the set at? Okay, by going through my Lego bulk, this is for a Star Wars X-Wing. 9493. Now look, I have it all in a Ziploc baggie. Everything for that X-Wing is in here. And if you look inside, I have broken, I have found the pieces by different colors. There's dark, there's a dark gray, there's some red, some tan, uh, actually that was, that's, that's light gray there, that's dark bluish gray, and a lot of it, and there's some black, some blue, but a majority of it, since it's Star Wars X-Wing, it's white. So you have all your pieces. They're all separated by color. I don't, I don't break them down in flats or um, brick. Okay, so that is for the X-Wing. You can pull it up by the set. Like I said, it was 9493. So I typed it in, click on it. Came out in 2012. 554 pieces and four minifigures so and what it will do instantly is I can put on your items for sale price guide set inventory I'm gonna go up to where it says parts and guess what it shows me first one is it shows the stickers that comes with the set well when you buy them in bulk your stickers are already going to be on most of your pieces if you don't you're, you're pretty lucky they didn't put it all the way together starts with the black pieces shows like the little minifigure weapon gun how many needs one well here you go so by having them in the color such as the manual it also does it on brick link it breaks them down by color now all I'd have to do is go into my bin that I have either flats or I have bricks instead of trying to find each and every little piece it's in either one of two bins depending on how much bulk you have but if we go down we got black and we have blue then we've got dark bluish gray and give you a list and so on and so on red that's actually dark red slopes and you like bluish gray and if you keep going then there's red if you go down to the very bottom there's some white and then it will show you your minifigures also that you need Okay, so by knowing what I had, by some of the pieces it was partially put together that I had an X-Wing in there, I had to figure out which X-Wing it was because there are, you know, reissues of certain brands, which, where's my, where's my book at? I can't find my book. I have a, I have a Star Wars book. Oh, here it is. Okay. <clears throat> And this is another way. This is a great book because I have a lot of Star Wars sets. This book will help me as another reference to identify uh, which set maybe the minifig goes to, or uh, more minifig, lots of minifigs. But it also breaks down the uh, sets in here, and then it will tell you what the set number is, and I can use that as a guide to go back on a computer and say, hey, that's the set I have. So there's many different references you can use to assist. 
But first of all, Bricklink, so I can tell which minifigures uh, go with the unit. But this is why I go by color instead of piece. So here I have my X-Wing, just as you would get bulk-wise, not in the box from the store. It will tell you if you're missing pieces, you can find those pieces on Bricklink also. I can go back, I'll show a picture of what the X-Wing looks like. It was released in 2012, 544 pieces, four minifigures, and you can actually go down and there will be complete sets down here. It will tell where their, the person is located. Like the top one says Germany, and it will give the US dollar or Euro, wherever, wherever you're living at. But um, just it includes box instructions and all parts, some parts yellowed, just no minifigures, photos on request. Okay, pretty good. The second one down, no instructions, missing one of the droids, uh, one of the guy's helmets. Ship has been glued together, previous owner, no box. And they wanted $30 US or yeah, 30, it's guys in, guys in Canada. Now, I, I don't want sets that are glued together. But that gives you an idea if I don't have all the pieces and I really wanted to set, I can go on here and find it. Great tool, once again, love Bricklink. Okay. So I get all the pieces in my bulk buy, but I have no manual. It come with a manual. I love manuals. Like I said, I, it, it adds value. M minifig, box, there, there's four components to it. Minifigs, bricks, manual, box. Four components. That makes it complete to me. If I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be upset, but I do have a complete x right here. So how do I put this together now if I want to find all the pieces? I go to another website. It is called lego.brickinstructions.com. lego.brickinstructions.com. Or I just type brick instructions in there. Now it might take you to the official Lego site, but this one, it will actually, if it's available, and these guys are great too, love this website, is it will give you the booklet that you have usually in the set, in the box. So it'll show you the cover page and that's the X-Wing that I want to build. And like I said, there was a couple different X-Wings that came out through the years and I had to figure out which one that I had. So just by looking at some of the pieces that had stickers on it, it had the, um, the decal on the intake. That's how I determined that because the canopies are all the same and you have all the same pieces. So it's just like if you would open up the box and there's the instructions in there and you have all your pieces, it is the manual. So it is a great tool if you can't find a manual, go to this website and now I can build this set. I won't have to look any farther. It'll give me just the exact manual Shows me putting many figures on all the steps. As you can see, it was it was downloaded on here. Step one, step two, and I can back out of that real quick, and I can go down to the very bottom. I can see all the steps that it takes. Let's see, how many how many steps does this X-wing have? Twenty-eight, twenty-eight for this one. So if I go one more, guess what? That when I showed you in the back of that manual, there is all the pieces. And look again. They are broken down by color. Got down white, red, blue. Oh, we forgot the tan yellow pieces over yellow uh, yellow pieces here. No, those are tan. So it's kind of hard to distinguish that, but that's why Bricklink helps you out for colors. But uh, another great tool, and it and it is the whole manual. Look, here's what would be in the very back, and there's still some other pieces there. Uh, some of the photos that were on there, uh, some of the other sets that were probably released at that time in 2012.
great tool that shows all the uh, minifigures that were probably released around that time. And there you go. That's the manual. So two good two good pieces of information on when I get everything together and then how I put it together. I hope that helps out a lot. I mean you have to figure out what's best for you for space wise, whether you live in an apartment or you have a house. What your space is in where you live. Sometimes you don't have a lot of store space. Sometimes people have to put their bulk by in their garage and sort out. And they don't have a room dedicated for Lego. Some people have a basement. I have a, 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 about a 10 by 10 room that is my Lego room, the, the Lego den. So I can organize this, uh, get some more bins, go through a bulk buy at one time, sort out, and what's great about that is once again you're not going to find 100 percent every piece to every set that you think you have in that bulk buy you may be saying okay i don't have enough for this marvel set or there's not enough for this star wars set then those pieces can go into my lego uh, what i have for my bulk when they're all sorted and i can the, the more bulk you buy the more inventory you have, then you can say, okay, I can go back and, and see if I can find the rest of the pieces for this X-Wing that I didn't have before. If not, boom, go back to uh, either eBay, Craigslist maybe, or Bricklink, and get the pieces you need to complete the set. But I hope this gives you some information on what I use as a technique. Like I said, it, it whatever it's up to you. I'm just giving you what works for me. Okay? So, and that's where I'm at right now. I'm going through a big bin, and I've got my pieces from other bulk sets. I'm going through a bin right now, and I've got, then I have to sort, just like this. This is, you know, like, uh, this is a police command center. It, it, partial built. So now I have to break this down and figure out what pieces I need. I have this one here, which is the, the Canoran, which is which was a newer it's a newer set. I do have the manual for it, uh, no box. And of course, you're gonna get. You know, here I am using these la these, these little baggies, but uh, these are minifigures that are partial built. There's some R2s in there. So I have to figure out what sets they go to. So, I hope that helps. Uh, any questions? You know feel free. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to give you my knowledge and what works for me. It, like I said, it may not work for you, but take this information, use it to wherever you need it. Okay? So that's going to be it for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I do get back to uh, any questions or comments. I appreciate you taking the time. If you are a, a member of Bricks and Water, if you subscribe, I thank you. If not, please hit that subscription button. Please. I really appreciate that. If you've enjoyed this video or any other video, please hit the like button. Give a thumbs up on that. And last but not least, if you are enjoying my videos, if you're getting information out of it, if it's information that could help you or your friends, please hit the share button. Get the word out. I, I'm in here working Lego all the time, trying to get information from what I can see. I, I, I'm in groups, like the adult fan of Lego. There's always questions on there. I try to get information from other people, or I give them my information on how to help out. Okay? So that's going to be it for today. Carl from Bricks in the Wild saying thank you. And just remember, saving bricks from the past is saving Lego bricks for the future. Have a good day.